Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So, y'all know it's holiday season, and there's a lot of scammers out there. I ran across an article uh, from Fox43.com. Shout out to them for this information. So, a Chinese national student was arrested for theft um, by deception of his involvement in a na nationwide multi-million dollar Walmart gift card scam. I will be putting it in the comment section where you can go ahead and scroll through to find out um, how they may deceive you. And um, how you can take precaution but I'm gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and read this article um, and that way you can have a base you know a foundation of everything that's going on okay so uh, Bentonville Arizona <clears throat> a Chinese national student was arrested for theft by deception for his involvement in a nationwide multi-million dollar Walmart gift card scam on November 4, 2019, the Benton County Sheriff's Office Criminal Investigations Division was contacted by a Walmart Global investigator about an ongoing theft investigation involving a variety of phone and internet scams. Walmart Global investigators had been surveilling a person of interest, 23-year-old Shanghai Liu, for the last several hours as he traveled through the state of Arkansas. Based on the suspect's pattern of activity, investigators believe Lou would be in possession control of fraudulently obtained gift cards numbers at Walmart store and at a Walmart store in Benton County. It was believed Lou was involved in a scam designed to convince, cure, trick, and otherwise prompt a victim to buy Walmart gift cards. Once a gift card is purchased, the victim is instructed to send pictures of the gift card number. Card numbers are decimated around the country within a few hours. A runner receives the gift card numbers from the others who obtain them directly from the victims. Runners utilize their smartphones. Gift card information is collected in the form of a UPC. The UPC is scanned by the runner at a Walmart register, and he she liquidates the Walmart gift cards by purchasing a prepaid debit card or other gift cards. The runner then takes pictures of the prepaid debit cards and gift cards, photo are sent to others involved in the scheme, who cash in all those cards. <clears throat> Investigators believe Chinese nationals are often used as runners. Victims are lured into the scheme by either responding to a text message, responding to an email, or searching for a particular type of financial service online. Inputting basic information, name, phone number, where a scammer will contact them and presumably from a, a fraudulent website. Walmart Global investigators were able to backtrack where the gift cards were initially purchased, usually in different states, using the receipts and provide law enforcement with the names of each victim and credit card information used to buy the cards. Still shots from registers of suspects who were also provided to investigators. Still shots were provided to the investigators from the, uh, you know, the bad guys at the register. Uh, Lou was Lou was trailed as he traveled from Fort Smith to Fayetteville. Investigators noted he stopped at several Walmart stores near I-49. Each time Lou stopped, investigators were able to confirm gift card transactions linked to the fraud scheme um, they were completing. On Monday, November 4th, I'm sorry, on Monday, November 4th, Lou completed a little over 16,000 in gift card transactions, according to court documents. Investigators believe Lou's transaction activity to be between 500,000 and 1 million in the last month. Lou was just one runner in the scheme, leading investigators to believe he is part of a multi-million dollar fraud scam. Police were informed Lou was staying in a hotel in Fayetteville for the night. He was seen leaving the next morning, November 5th, around 9.30 a.m. After leaving the hotel, Lou visited at least five Walmart stores between Fayetteville and Rogers, completing transactions ranging from 1,000 to 3,021, I'm sorry, to 3,200, from 1,000 to 3,200 at a time. Following the transactions, investigators spotted Lou exit the store, get into his, his vehicle, and immediately get on his phone. A short time later, he would exit his vehicle, go back into the store, and complete more transactions. Later that day, investigators spotted Lou making transa transactions at Walmart stores in Springdale before traveling to Rogers. At approximately 4.22 p.m., Lou arrived at Walmart in Rogers. Investigators waited inside the store and watched Lou into the store on the grocery side near self-checkout registers. Be careful about the self-checkout, y'all. Okay, so Lou grabbed 
gift cards from a display near the register. He walked through the store and selected a red gift bag before entering the self-checkout area. Investigators watched Lou scan what appeared to be a UPC on his device before scanning multiple gift cards, exactly as described by Walmart investigators. After completing the transaction, Lou attempted to leave the store. Detectives approached him and escorted him outside. President and CEO of Arkansas Division of the Better Business Bureau, Janet Robb, says, this is a common tactic by scammers. Y'all be careful this holiday season. These individuals are out here gathering up gift card numbers to use just like this young man in Northwest Arkansas did recently and used it to go into Walmart, use those points to buy other gift cards. It's all part of a scam, Rob said. Lou was handcuffed and a bag full of gift cards was confiscated and his phone was put on airplane mode. It was confirmed that Lou had completed a transaction totaling $1,408.82 at the store. Lou was placed under arrest for theft by deception and transported to the Benton County Detention Center to be held on bond for hearing. He will face federal prosecution for his involvement in a fraud scheme. Lou is a Chinese national in the United States on a student visa. Lord have mercy. Records shows he resides in Amherst, Massachusetts and was in the country to attend the University of Massachusetts. He confirmed visiting numerous stores in the state and completing gift card transactions. He has been held on a $50,000 cash bond. Rob says finding the person behind the scams is almost impossible with thousands happening across the country each day. This was an isolated incident in Northeast, I'm sorry, Northwest Arkansas. Good for them. We finally caught a bad guy and there are hundreds that get away with it for everyone that he has apprehended. Rob advises consumers to take their time and do research before relaying information over the phone to avoid becoming a victim to scams. Investigators say victims are lured into the scam by putting basic compact, I'm sorry, basic contact information into websites. Then a scammer will reach out, tricking the victim into purchasing gift cards one way or another. Corporal Taylor Underwood says the West Fork Police Department has been has seen an increase in complaints about scams recently. He says, take the time to make sure that the person on the other line is legitimate before handing out personal information or money. So this is a heads up for us all. There is a gift card scam definitely going on. There is some stuff going on at the uh, self-checkout. So basically what I get out of this is if you're trying to get like payday loans, you know, because you put your financial information in there, the scammers are taking that information, calling you and somehow trying to get you to purchase a gift card. Also, when you're purchasing gift cards at the stores, obviously this UPC thing that he has on his phone that they have on their phone, somehow they're scanning that at the um, self-checkouts and using that information for themselves. So I guess if you go and you use your um, your Walmart gift card and it has a zero balance, then you know what's happening. But anyways, this is just a little heads up for all of us because I know it's the holiday season, season and everyone will be shopping. I hope you were able to get um, some information out of this. Um, don't forget to get this video a thumbs up. We are changed for the better too. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.